Hey guys, it's Vision here, and um, I'm back with another Minecraft video, and um, that's still pretty loud. Um, so yeah, you're probably wondering why this is called Episode Three, and I'm gonna turn down my sound as well because I don't know why it's all the way to 100%. Actually, I might as well just turn it off because I don't want the sound lag to this like annoy you guys. But you guys are probably wondering why my house is so developed and it's not in my Let's Play series, but it's because um. I made a copy of my Let's Play series and uh, let it like like I just started continuing on building my house and uh, like you know just continuing on with the uh, with the world and this is what happened and uh, honestly I'm guess I could do like a more of a tour series of my uh, tranquil map because um it's really hard to do a Let's Play series with my shitty computer because of because of all the lag that and problems I get while recording so basically what I could do what's better for me and because I still love making Minecraft videos and I still love playing Minecraft what's better for me and for you guys is that I could show you a quick tour of my house and then like it could be a quick three minute or five minute video of what I've done so far and um yeah and I'm also gonna like put a link in the description for the download not in this episode yet not not yet I won't do that yet but um in a uh, future episodes, I'll put a link in the description for the download to my uh, save, my world save. And then you guys could try it out for yourselves and look for some things I didn't find myself. So let's just let the tour begin. So in my chest, uh, you guys could see that I built a farm for my own food and actually I'm pretty hungry right now. So I'm going to go in my chest over here where I store all my wheat and uh, sugar cane. I'm going to... Oh, I'm pretty tired right now. Whew gonna make me some bread and uh yeah so yeah i have my own little farm still needs work though and my house is pretty basic pretty small and uh yeah i'm, I'm starving right now not only in this game but in real life too yeah that won't get me by anywhere but whatever Yeah, that won't help at all, but yeah, so this is my house, and you're wondering what's down here, and through here is a little aisle, like I said before in my old episodes, I like building over cave systems, and uh, that's what I did, I built over a cave system, and um, I have explored most of it, I collected a couple of diamonds already, and uh, that's pretty much it, and uh, yeah, I'm going down here. And yeah, here's to another port. Here's another portal I built. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys my uh automatic uh obsidian generator. I haven't really perfected the generator because um I'm not sure if this if one point one point oh prevents it, but every time I use it I lose my redstone, so I have to keep placing redstone to keep generating the obsidian obsidian. Which is why I have my diamond pickaxe specifically meant for mining the obsidian, and uh, I'll just put that obsidian in there. And I have spare uh, redstone, so like um, I find redstone most of my cave trips, so I'm not really worried about uh, running out. So I have to place redstone here, here, and here. Like, let me show you guys. So I'd have to place uh, redstone here. Sorry for the lag. So I'd have to place redstone in those spots. Let the lever go. And there you go. I have your obsidian. You have your obsidian. Well, that's not good because, uh. Oh boy. I was supposed to place obsidian over here. <laughs> it's really not good. Yeah, that's not good. Um. So the downside to this generator is that uh, if you don't place the redstone on these spots, then it will generate cobblestone instead of um, obsidian. But um, yeah. So that's why I'm saying I'm not. I don't think I really perfected it, or if that 1.0 is um preventing me from keeping my redstone. So yeah, that's basically it. So back to another portal I have. Yeah, and these cave systems. I have a plenty of cave systems that I built around, but this is like the main one that's really under my house. So yeah, here's the Nether portal. Um, 
as soon as you go through, you're going to find yourself only having the choice to go left or right. Both are cobble are tracked by cobblestone. So if you really follow the cobblestone, you'll find two other nether portals which will bring you into a, a empty um uh, empty uh, plot of sea, I'm guessing that's the pr proper way to say it, but yeah, and the right way will bring you into another cave system which is probably far away ahead of my uh, house. So down here is another cave system in which I explore and I'm getting some serious lag down here. Which is not good because I really don't want to fall into any lava. But uh, yeah, I'm trying my best to get down here. It's so much going on down here that it's, pro it's lagging my computer. But uh, yeah, so um, there's plenty of cave system around, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I really hope you can understand why I'm just doing this quick little tour of my uh, house that I'm building in my tranquil map. But uh, yeah, until I get a better computer, which I will soon, I'll continue Let's Play series and I will start doing adventure maps. But this has been Vision, guys. I'm out. Peace.